With the launch of Battlefield 1, it was announced that we would receive the French Army in the first DLC package. This was both received with a positive and negative wash of opinions, as some expected a nation as involved as France to be a major faction in the vanilla game. However, the fact that they will form the first big content change to the game is a welcome addition. For those interested, the first expansion pack will drop in March 2017 and is titled They Shall Not Pass. As videos have recently commented on, the Battlefield Premium Pass page has hinted at the Russian Empire also becoming available at a later date. This is again exciting news, especially considering the limited factions we were exposed to in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. DICE have gone all out in Battlefield 1, trying to involve more factions than ever before, and this of course makes the game more accurate and immersive to the time period that it's set in. If you have the Battlefield 1 Premium Pass, as many people already do, you will be able to access any expansion pack two weeks before other players. This is a big deciding factor for a lot of Battlefield players, as the first two weeks of any content tends to be the most exciting and populated time in the game's life. If you were to purchase the DLC separately, as many did in Battlefield 4, you would still gain access to the content and of course be able to skip out on the whole thing if it didn't take your fancy. However, that initial two week period where most players get their fill would be lost. So far in Battlefield 1, we have seen nine maps, Argon Forest, Suez, Foul Fortress, Sinai Desert, St. Quintus Scar, Monte Grappa, Armion, Empire's Edge, and Ballroom Blitz. You will be happy to know that DICE plan on introducing 16 more multiplayer maps to the game, and these will obviously include influential places in the First World War, linking in new factions of the Russian Empire and France. This makes me very excited, as this Battlefield game has not only provided me with a gaming experience that I have thoroughly enjoyed, but also one that has forced some welcome education my way. I have a feeling a lot of people, especially the younger generation, will have a greater interest in the battles that are emulated in the game, which of course is a fantastic thing. Alongside these new maps, we will see a continuation of the Operations game mode. I for one enjoy this game mode and think it's tremendous despite the annoying dreadnoughts and repeated cutscenes. A brand new set of maps is exactly what I'll be after when the first DLC comes around and of course this keeps the game mode fresh. Now for the bit that we can speculate on a little. On the official DICE website they state that new elite classes and 20 new weapons will be added over the course of the expansion packs. Whether you enjoy the elite classes or not in Battlefield 1, it's good to see that more options will be introduced. But what do you think they will add? I'd love to see a sniper elite class with full camouflage maybe emulating a legendary sniper of World War 1. Of course we can speculate as much as we want but the possibilities are brilliant. In regards to the weapons, DICE have already provided us with a nice balance, 20 weapons overall would suggest a couple of additional weapons per class with the presets being added as well. Finally, DICE plan on introducing new vehicles to operate in the game, and I will be doing a whole separate set of videos speculating on what they could involve. World War I was a fascinating time for the development of machinery, and some of the creations were truly absurd. Make sure you stick around for that as I plan on putting a lot of effort into the videos. We're going to be doing some speculation videos just around the whole DLC and looking at specific things that happened in World War I that might then hint at what's going to happen in later expansion packs. Thanks for watching and make sure to leave any suggestions for further content down in the comments. Check out the links in the description for further information and leave a like to support the channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.